Pokemon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Karax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the age of castes has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. Eradicated your hybrid facility and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, back. You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Iron and die. He is gone. He is so arrogant. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers Ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. Set a course for ire. A new faction has joined our forces in the War Council. <laughs> Such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Corps. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. This victory belongs to Karax. The Golden Armada has devastated the Sector, Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. Rohana, before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes. I saw Amon's end, 
As the firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the swarm. And the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. The Hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ayr. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Karax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design. A battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith, and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Hierarch, the purifiers are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Yes, they have chosen to follow my command. Leadership is new for me, as is everything else. I had not intended to become Hierarch. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The Purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Dalam now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision-making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. So many lost. So much destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope. We will destroy Amon's host body and cast him from the Kala. The Templar shall make our final stand for ire. Brothers, Sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ayr, by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit, and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Your people are lost, Arpanus. I know you desire to save them, but it will not be done. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss. 
burn the entire world, and all on it. No, Alarak. If we may save my people, it will be done. Do not defy me on this. Of course, I only counsel wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. May Rashago light the path to victory. The psionic matrix was first sparked 3,000 years ago. It is strange. Such a joyous event, and I only know of it from what has been recorded in history. I do not feel the memory. I cannot tell you of the joy that Protoss felt as the first pulse charged the Psy Matrix, or the rush of thoughts that cascaded through the Kala and the minds of the proud Kalai. And yet, we know all that we need to about these times, Rohana. Yes. You must understand, though. To have so little of experience to recall it, my account is capable of flaws, of imperfection. Perhaps this is how our history should be viewed after all. Without certainty, only seen through the era one lives in. Ayer. Some of my people are seeing it for the first time. They were born on Shakuris and have only heard tales of our homeland. They will see much more of it.